Hello everybody out there in the restaurant world. I've got some interesting news about Chick-fil-A and if you're in the pizza business, you should pay close attention. Today is March 18th of 2024. I'm coming to you live from the world headquarters of the restaurant boss here just outside of Austin, Texas. And up on my screen here is an interesting article that came out of PMQ, Pizza Magazine Quarterly. This is an email I got from them. Chick-fil-A is getting into the pizza business. Um, now, this isn't the first time we've seen brands try new things. We'll have to see how this goes. I guess they're going to do this as a ghost concept. It's going to come out of five of their locations in uh, College Park, Maryland. Um, oh, I guess they're, I'm sorry, they're doing five pizzas in one location. It's going to be called the Little Blue Menu. I'm not exactly sure what any of that means. It's a pretty short article. But um, look, anytime Chick-fil-A does anything, we should be paying attention. They're one of those brands that just does it right. If I had to predict here, I wouldn't bet a dollar on this succeeding. Um, I wouldn't bet a dollar on this doing anything more than just getting some press my guess is some people at the company are pretty bored. Some people want to try some things. They've got plenty of money. Sometimes the best way to keep great team members is to let them try things. Now, could it work? Sure. Uh, even if it works, the, the chances of smart money investing in this are pretty small. But again, think of this like a concept car, right? Every time uh, or every year, Ford, Ferrari, General Motors, you know, Cadillac, GMC, all these companies, they all come out with these concept cars. It's a chance to flex your muscles. It gets some press. It's fun. Again, when you have a big company, you have a lot of people on your team who are creative and have ideas. And sometimes we've got to let them do it. So, hey, look, good for them. They're going to try something new. Um, all I'm saying is I'd pay attention to it because, you know, you never know. I've made some really bad bets in my life. This might be one of them. But again, just to kind of show you some things in the past, like Chipotle, I don't know why this ad was up here, right? Chipotle gave it a shot to do kind of an Asian style uh, version of a Chipotle. It was called Shop House. From what I heard, it was very good. It didn't work out. All of their locations closed. This article was 2017. Uh, all 15 will close. So this concept didn't make it more than about a year or two. Cheesecake Factory experiments with something called Grand Lux Cafe. I never understood this because Grand Lux Cafe was basically just a bigger version of a Cheesecake Factory. So I never quite understood it. But the point is, this isn't the first time that brands have tried to spin off. Listen, all I want to say here is I'm a guy that believes in small to medium operations should stay small to medium. That doesn't mean you shouldn't grow. I'm all in favor of growing, but I look at a company like an in and out and man, I mean, this is a company that has kept their eye on the ball, stayed focused, not gone public, kept it family run, and everyone in that family are billionaires um, and everyone who works for them does well because they've just kept their eye on the ball. They have, I think, 350, maybe 450 at the most. I think last I checked, it was like 380 locations. They might be at like 400, I'm not sure. But the point is, when we compare that to, you know, 3,000 Chick-fil-A's, um, the point is, again, uh, they've, they've kept their eye on the ball. They've kept profits high. They've stayed focused on what it is that makes them what they are. You're never going to see in and out experimenting with things like this. Again, go for it, Chick-fil-A. I wish you the best of the luck. Uh, Chipotle, they realize, you know what? We've got something good here. Just stick with it. Cheesecake Factory, they ended up buying Fox Restaurant Group or doing some sort of acquisition with them. So now they're in different markets. They have different brands. But, you know, for those of you out there, um, I have a couple of brands that I work with who have tried different concepts and some work, some don't. My thing is, if you have lightning in a bottle, if you have figured out a way to capture that elusive success in the restaurant business where you're able to open up multiple locations and people love what you're doing. You have captured something magical. Stick with it. Go deeper and deeper. I'll tell you a quick story here and then we'll wrap it up. Zig Ziglar, I'm going to mess up this story a little bit, but Zig Ziglar was a great sales trainer. If you've read his books, he's great. If you get a chance to watch anything online, but there's this story about Zig Ziglar where he says, 
him and his wife are having a conversation. I'm going to talk really fast. Like Zig Ziglar talks really fast. And his wife says, honey, I wish we had a little bit more money. People are finding oil in their backyards everywhere. We should go dig a hole and see if we have oil in our backyards. And the husband says, sure, no problem. It goes in the backyard, digs a hole, doesn't find any oil, digs another hole, doesn't find any oil, digs a hole, comes inside, covered it on and says, honey, we're going to be rich. We found oil in our backyard. And she says, that's great. Go dig more holes. Well, the problem with that story is you don't dig more holes and you find oil. You put a pump on it and you suck that well dry. And then when that well is dry, you inject steam into it and then you suck more oil out of it. And then when you can't get anything more out of it, you start side drilling it and then you put more steam into it and you keep pumping that hole until there is absolutely nothing left to give. That's what the biggest successful oil companies do. Don't get me wrong. They have exploration businesses where they go out and try to find new wells, but they never find an oil well and then abandon it. When they find an oil well, when they find oil, they dig and they dig and they dig and they suck it dry until they can't get anything else out of it. And when they can't get anything else out of it, they try harder to get things out of it and they automate the process. And so again, all I say is again, good luck here, Chick-fil-A. And for those of you out there who are thinking about coming up with new concepts when you've got one that's working and it's right under your nose, maybe stick with that. Dig that well a little deeper. Inject some steam into it. Frack it. Side drill it. Run that pump 24 hours a day, but stay focused. I hope all of you enjoyed this video and I look forward to bringing you another great video just like this. If you want to get a free copy of my book, make it happen, head on over to therestaurantboss.com and grab yourself a free copy over there. And remember, systems create freedom, freedom creates value and value creates scale. Have an absolutely amazing day. I love every single one of you crazy restaurant people. Bye-bye. Make it happen is the book I wish I had when I was operating restaurants. Inside are the lessons that took me 10 years to learn and 10 more years of teaching to perfect. I've condensed the most important lessons into this tiny book for building a big restaurant business. I am on a mission to improve restaurants all over the world. Because of that, I want to send you a free copy. Grab yours today at therestaurantboss.com.